Hi everyone, this is Jasmine from the Book Arts Program at the J. Willard Marriott Library at the University of Utah. In this video, I'm going to show you all several examples of tunnel books that we've made at our program so that you can all have some ideas on ways you can fill in your books with content. So this first example is a very small tunnel book. It's a three by three inch tunnel book. And these are, they're, the smaller you go, it's a little bit trickier to get everything uh, glued in and set into place. But if you have steady hands, go for it, make, make small books, it totally works. So this one is a little environment, it looks like a wetland, and we have different animals and plants, and we have things are labeled, and uh, Kate Thomas made this one. She worked at the Book Arts program, and she is just a really great uh, illustrator, and so she has these uh, little drawings. All right, for this next one, I actually worked with a group of fourth graders to create tunnel books based on the five national parks of Utah. And uh, this was a really fun project. We did a little bit of research on different plants and animals that are common in um, the, all five of the national parks. And we made a, a cutout, a, a handout with cutouts. And so you can just bubble cut around the animals and plants. This is the structure. It's a square tunnel book, so a little different than the one that I demonstrated in the video. Uh, the, the window's a little bit smaller, uh, and the animals are cut out as well as some of those plants. Um, and they're attached on the inside concertina. Now you'll notice the background, there's nothing in the background, and that's because this book is a little bit different. This one has uh, inserts that you can place into the back, and these are all watercolored uh, pieces of the national parks and so the students did this as well. This is my personal example. So we have arches and I can just slide that right into the back and now the animals are with um, are in Arches National Park. And then I went ahead and made all five of them. There's um, the second one I did was Bryce. So there's that can go in and out as well. It's pretty pretty simple. Uh, I also made uh, Capital Reef, so that was a fun one. Um, Canyonlands, as well as Zion National Park. You could also do this as a nighttime scene if you wanted to do a tunnel book about nocturnal animals. And another project that we did with sixth graders was um, every student chose a bird of prey to research and they, they did a report on it and then they made a tunnel book based off of the environment that they lived in. So that was a really fun project to do as well. This next one is also about habitats. And what's great about this one is that it's a little bit larger. So, so much more room to illustrate and design. And this one actually has covers, it has two covers. And when I open it up, it has some writing on the inside. And the writing is all about a certain creature, uh, in this case, a skunk. So this is all about the skunk and its habitat. So when I open up the different, the two different covers, now you can see the inside of the book. And this expands quite, quite large, but it's, it's so much, so much space to write and draw on. Annie Boyer made this one. She's our studio and outreach coordinator, and she has a, uh, a background in painting and drawing. So she's really great with watercolors, and she just, um, she mostly designed each piece individually and then glued it in to make this really beautiful structural book. So that's another example of a habitat tunnel book. Here's another larger scale tunnel book. This one was made by Kate Thomas, the same uh, person who did the smaller wetland tunnel book that I showed at the beginning. And what's great about this one is that it ties into English and literature. So this one is all about the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. And it has um, the concertinas on the side, as you can see, it has the wardrobe in the background. But just like the National Parks Tunnel Book, you can take this in and out. Um, well, for one thing, if we open up the doors, you can see that Narnia is behind the wardrobe doors. So we can see Narnia back through there. But this can also come in and out. And so you can use a tunnel book as really a stage uh, if you wanted it to become more of a performative piece as well. So there's Narnia and we can take this in and out if we wanted to. Uh, another fun thing is that Kate also made uh, 
Lucy, one of the main characters of the book, uh, all of the books, into a puppet. And she attached it to a piece of bookboard, it looks like, but you can use a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor. And it, she, the little puppet can interact with the space and go in and out of the door uh, or, you know, can be in front as well. So it's a really fun, um, it's a really fun way to get it, get a little bit of play involved, um, acting some of these things out. It's also a really fun idea to turn a book report into a tunnel book. It's just a more interesting way to visualize a book as well as um, maybe you can even do this for your favorite book, maybe not just a book that you're reading for class. We have a couple different examples of books that have collageable materials in, in, within them and that's if you don't want to do any type of painting and drawing that's also that's totally fine you can use collageable materials. This is a collageable book I made. This is the same size as the demo book that I made, the demonstration uh, book I made in the instruction video. And so, um, and I tried to make this more as to focus on patterns and textures of paper. So I tried to make a kaleidoscope looking tunnel book. Um, and if you go really up close, you can see all these different designs and patterns. And it's kind of just fun to look inside and all, the, all of the different pieces. It was uh, a little, little bit tricky to line everything up, but uh, to make it all symmetrical, but that's another way you can talk about symmetry versus asymmetry. This is the last book I'm going to show as an example. This one was made by Annie Hillam, who is one of our student employees, and she made this beautiful uh, tunnel book. Uh, this is a pretty strong tunnel book because she used heavier board and book cloth around the front and the back, and so this one's a little bit fancier because of the book cloth, but you can really make these pretty sturdy. Uh, but when you see up close, she has collageable flowers and butterflies and um, and some and a bird maybe even some moths in there and then he there's a boy and his um, little boy and his dog sitting on a lake so it's just a really really great way to use collageable materials so if you're not uh, if you don't want to paint and draw you can find find different pictures and put them together into a tunnel book thank you for watching this content video we have more examples of ways that you can incorporate core content into your tunnel book through our lesson plan, which is linked in our K-12 lesson plans and resources tab um, in, on our website. And uh, at, if you go all the way to the end of the lesson plan, there are examples, written examples of how, how you can um, adapt these books into your curriculum by grade level.